Right, uh, welcome to stretching. So we're gonna do a nice 45 minute class um, stretching the full body today. Uh, you won't need any equipment, um, just, mm. we'll just wait for people to come online. Um, let's put the watch on. So, I ah, could do a nice stretch. Uh, general disclaimer, um, if you're injured or unwell, please don't attempt to exercise. Exercising can cause injury. So please just uh, listen to my cues, follow me nice and slowly, don't rush into it, uh, and try not to hurt yourself. Okay, so, hi Linda. Um, we are going to start uh, standing. Um, I'll just wait for a few more of you to come online. I've been drinking sparkly water, so hopefully I don't burp or make noises. Hi, Robin. Oh. Mm, I'll be looking forward to this all day. Right, let's get going. So, stand nice and tall. Uh, the music playing in the background is royalty licensed free music or Spotify. So it's just chilled music. Right, so we're gonna do, uh, basically, uh, we're gonna work on the chest, the bicep, and the shoulders mainly today, but it will be full body. Um, the shoulders are our stabilizers for our chest and arms, uh, so you need to strengthen the mobility in your shoulders, um, which will also, if you've got stronger shoulders, you're less prone to injury, okay? So um, standing elbow stretch. You're gonna bend your elbow, so put your, put your hand back like this, and then just pull the elbow forward. And release. You feel that straight away in the shoulder. Just gently, if you can't reach the elbow, grab the forearm, and just pull it in. If it hurts the wrist, I'm feeling my wrist a little bit. Okay, take it across the chest. And you can grab your arm and pull the elbow into the chest. Bending the elbow. So I'm feeling that stretch nicely down through the shoulder. Pulling in. What you don't want to do is let the body twist like that. So pull the shoulder back, pull the elbow forward and down. And other side. So I'm grabbing a thumb and pinky around the back of the tricep, pulling down. If you prefer, you can lock it across the chest and pull in that way with a straight arm. Stretch in the shoulder, nice soft knees, nice deep breaths. And again. Good, take it into goalpost arm. So now we're working through the mobility of the shoulder. Here's goalpost, it's actually that's your goalpost, can you see there? So you want to, you know, you see these people doing, you're working through. Just checking what the scratching noise is. Goalpost down, externally rotating, down and up. Okay, bring your elbows in line with the shoulders. Yep, and then just externally rotate down. What we're working on this is to increase your range of motion, range of movement. So some people, you may not have much range of movement going back this way, or you, you might stop there. So what we're wanting to do is increase that range of movement. Can you see? I get through the full range. That's what you're looking to work on, okay? Shoulder mobility. Hey Drew. And squeeze. You might feel a little tightness there. What you don't want to be doing is rounding here. So stand up tall. Good. You feel that straight away in the shoulders. Okay, now we're going to do a T hinge. So there's your T formation. Can you see the T shape? And you're just going to turn your palms as you hinge forward. Nice flat back. Turn down. You can bend the knee. You don't have to work on the hamstrings. And you can have your palms facing out. And then rotate them around. 
squeeze the shoulder blades together and up. So if you have a look at the back here, squeezing the shoulders, palms, bend the knees, and then turning the arms, squeezing the rhomboids together. Oh, you can feel that right in the back. Do it again. Stay here. Squeeze. And up. That I can feel. That needs stretching out. Roll. Okay, come down to the floor. Four point kneeling. Okay, so. Drive your bum back. Hands under shoulders. Okay. And you're gonna just sit back and twist to one side and come up. So shoulders over hands, sit back, push through the shoulder. So you should feel it all down the side. And up. Down. So I'm feeling this in my shoulders. Okay, pushing, push, push, pushing the shoulder towards the hip. As you sit back, push, 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 push. And up. Down. And up. Good. Sit back and just roll the shoulders. Round, chin to chest. And sit up tall, do that again. So round. Breathe out. Sit up tall. Do one more. Round. Sliding the hands down. Hooking on the knees. And round. Okay, you're going to come down to the floor. Okay, I'm just going to come into the middle a little bit. Lie down on your belly. Okay. So, what we're going to do is work in through the shoulders, okay? We're going to put your hands behind your head and lift your elbows up. Then you're gonna straighten the arms out in a T uh, and bring it. So handcuff position is the end position, okay? So you're gonna have your hand here. You're gonna lift the elbows, lift the hands. There's your T. Bring it around, turn the palms. Handcuff position. Pull the elbows back. Release shoulders down. Around and down. Okay, working through the back and the shoulders into the posterior chain, okay? So chin to chest, eyes forward. Lift the elbows up, hands up. Extend out in the T. As you bring it around, rotate the palms and lock the palms on the lower back, pulling the elbows up. Release them down gently, but don't touch the floor. Round and take your hands to the back of the head. Now we're gonna add a little bit more lift. So you can let, lift the legs as well if you want. Round, turn, elbows up, down, round, up. Breathe through the move. Turn, take it to your lower back, pull the elbows up, lower down, round, cuffs, up. Do one more. Out, round, up, ah. Try to get it down. And release down. That feels nice. Okay. So now we're going to do a scorpion twist. Okay. So from here, take your... Uh, right. I'm going to do it facing you so you can see me, okay? So what we're going to do with the scorpion twist is shoulders, okay? It does get your lower back, it gets your glutes and your back extensors, okay? So scorpion, so we're going to do this, you can do it two ways, you can have goalpost arms here, but I'm going to take, uh, which way am I? Left hand maybe, close to you. And you're, let's move all this out the way that you can see it, I think. So, take your right hand, make a fist with the ice cream, plant the ice cream in the floor, okay? So your, your arm is in line with your shoulder, okay? 
You're going to take his hand close to you. Lift your right heel, scorpion tail. No. Lift your left heel, scorpion tail. And you're going to push the right shoulder into the floor and lift over. And twist. Release up. And back down. I'm just squashing the mic box, so let's take that off. Uh, don't know where that's going. Now bring the hand up, 45 degrees. You're pushing this shoulder into the floor. Scorpion tail. Push, 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 support. You'll rest your head down. And release over. Okay, switch sides. I'm just going to hook my mic box back in. All right, so, um, fist down, let's give a picture, in line with the shoulder, this hand is here for support, lift the scorpion tail, head on the floor, push over, stretch, push, feel that shoulder stretch, you get the shoulders and hamstrings back, and release, take it up, 45 degrees, push that shoulder into the floor, head on the floor, and twist. There it is. Good. All right. You can do that again on each side if you want. Yeah, let's try that. You can do goalpost arms. So you're not going as you're pushing, just lifting the twisted tail. Look in the opposite direction. I think the straight on one is more effective. See what flexibility you've got. See my foot is right up by my hand. How's that? I'll just crunch my mic box again. There it is. Okay, come into child's pose. Up it. Okay. Knees wide, toes together, bum back, arms long. Am I in the picture? Yes. Oh, that feels good. So, this is a beautiful stretch for your back, for your quads, for your butt, for your shoulders. You want to imagine you've got a big preggy belly, take the knees wide, as wide as they'll go. Feet are together, feet flat. Walk it long. Sit your bum back, head down. Okay, what are we doing? Okay, head down. You can walk the fingertips long so the elbows come off the floor. Pull the shoulders back and down. Nice deep breaths. Take one hand underneath, palm up, shoulder down. So look under that arm. This arm is still walked long, so it's not lying down, you're pushing up. Squeeze the shoulder blades back and down, relax the head. Pushing into the shoulder. Come back up to 12 o'clock. Other hand through, palm up, shoulder down. So some of you may not be able to sit your hips this far back. You might be up here, okay, but try walk it back and get the hips down. Come up to 12 o'clock. Walk both hands across to 10 o'clock. So left or right one first. You might be going to two o'clock here, I'm not sure. Feel that stretch down the lat. And other side. Pull back. Ooh, that feels good. So you're feeling the stretch all down the side. Good, come up. So, kneeling, right hand, side, right. So we're gonna do a broken wing stretch, which is kind of what we started with, okay? So, I'll show you from the front. Okay, so sit here, if it's not comfortable on your knees, you can put one knee forward like so. 
whatever, all right? Uh, tuck in, and now you'll find this comes forward more. It's a broken wing stretch. So you kind of want to have the back of your hand against your ribs and just reach and pull. So you'll be feeling this right in the inside. Rest, release, do the other side. So if your hand's here, you won't be able to reach your elbow. You need to turn your hand and pull the elbow in. So this one, I've got a little bit more flexibility. It's a kind of weird move. Feel it in the shoulders. You can do a double broken wing. You can do it kneeling here. Pulling in a little bit easier. And the other side, tuck in and just pull. We're just stretching through the shoulders. Don't pull so it hurts. Keep it just, I'm just pulling in. Good. And then face down on the floor, we're just going to do some elbow slides. So lie flat on the floor, all right? Goalpost arms. So imagine you're a goalpost. Head is down, I'm gonna put my head to the side. And I'm just gonna reach up and pull down. So you can go all the way. I'm hovering over the floor, okay? Hover, 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 hover. It's essentially, it's just more relaxing, I think, than standing doing it against a wall. You can do wall slides. If you don't have the mobility in the shoulders to do this with straight arms, you can have bent elbows. A stretch. Up, down, and squeeze. Take it behind, and pull. Do it again. Up. So I'm literally hovering, can you see? Pushing up. Do you want more? Hover, 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 hover. Little spider fingers. Pushing up. That's quite nice. And pull. Good. From here. So, we can go to, we may as well do it while we're down here. Uh, kneeling, push back. Okay, so, you're gonna sit uh, from here. You're gonna take your hand, knuckles, fingers to knuckles. Can't talk today. Let's try that again. Knuckles to temple. Four point kneeling, knuckles to temple. Fold in the elbow and then open up. That's all I've got. And down. So some of you will be opening right up. I don't have it on this shoulder. My other shoulder might be a little bit different. So we're looking for about six reps. Close right in, open up. Breathe. Feel this through the shoulders. One more. Mm. Other side. So I'll show you from the front what this looks like. Knuckles to temple, close in, and open up. So this one, I have a little bit more flexibility. Can you see that? Or, yeah, flexibility. It's coming up more, still not 100%, but I'm working on that. There's quite a few variations of doing that move. You could do it uh, opening up uh, in child. You could open up, but I just prefer doing it. I mean, if you're in child, you would open. Close here. Try this one. Elbows. Don't break anything. Don't pull anything. All right, stretch it out. So you should feel warmth in your shoulders now. Yeah. 
Alright, we're going to do the full torso rotation. Uh, oh. Okay, so half kneel, the one knee. Okay, you're going to pull uh, from here, hand inside. Then you're going to pull up into a full open and close. And this one will be easier. Okay, with the rotation, close. Open up. You could lift your back leg if you wanted to. Open. Down. Don't fall over. I'll show you from the side. Do three more on this side. So I've lifted. This one is harder. Open up. Stretch. Again, switch sides. So you can do it kneeling, okay? Open up. I don't have much in this side. Open up here is fine. Am I in the screen? Just lift up the back leg, rotate the torso. Full bow and arrow stretch. One more. Stay it in. Roll it up. Oh, stretch. Good. Y T W L. Okay. Let's tuck this in. Okay. So why? T, W, L. All right, working through all the shoulder. We're just going to do a few of these because you have worked a lot on the shoulders, okay? Just going through the rotational movement of the shoulder. I'm going to add a little squat into it just to stretch right through the back. Here, here, W, W, and down, L. You don't have to do the squat. You can go Y. T, squeeze, W, L. From the back, Y, T, squeeze the elbows back, L. Oh, it's a good movement through the shoulder. Okay, ragdoll roll down, standing. Okay, so just gently drop the chin to the chest. Breathe in as you come down. So you're going to go vertebra by vertebra slowly. Take a nice deep breath in, roll, hang at the bottom, make sure you've not tipped onto your toes, keep your heels down, some of you might just be here, unable to touch your toes, that's fine, roll up to the chest, that's nice, and again, roll, So you can breathe in up, gently roll, exhale down, look at my form, keep your chin up, good, nice, okay, so let's just lift, you're shrugging, shrug, 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 push down. Gently take the chin, the chin, the head, pull gently over to one side. Open up the neck. Release, other side. And release, drop the head down, chin to chest. If you want to assist this, you can add a little bit of resistance, pushing down. Now release, stretch, pull the elbows back. Good. Okay, so 
We're going to do uh, just some chest and back stretches, so round and release. You could do this standing, okay? A standing round and release. You would put your hands to your thighs and your chest up. You would look up, inhale, and as you exhale, you round. Squeezing hips to ribs. So this is a standing round and release. Can you see how flat my back is? And round. You could get a little bit deeper and you could sit here and you could run, come up, exhale, run. Again, roll it up, standing side bends. Okay, you gotta breathe in, take your one wrist and gently pull over your feet or shoulder width apart. You are pulling the shoulder towards the big toe. You are not leaning backwards. Pushing the hips back on the angle and stretching all through the obliques. And up, switch wrists. Breathe in, straight. I'm gonna show you this again from the side so you can see where the hips are moving, okay? You are gonna switch wrists, pull, so you push your hips to the left and lean over to the right, leaning forward rather than back. And then up, you get a little bit further this time. And here. If you wanted old school, you would just lean one arm down, but you have to be careful of leaning back on that, okay? You need your abs on, and you could just reach down, or you could reach over and stretch. It's the same move, okay? You don't have to pull and stretch. I'm still pointing my shoulder to my big toe, yeah? You could take this move, pushing onto the hip, get a little bit more stretch, but still leaning forward, okay? Yeah. Round, chin to chest, see from the side, and back. And round. So chin to chest, pull the shoulder blades apart. Round back, pull the shoulders back and down. Some of you may not be able to clasp your hands and pull back with straight arms. You might have to push, pull the shoulders back and just push the hips. Okay, everybody's got different flexibilities, okay, or strengths. Right, hamstrings. We're gonna hang down, take your feet wide, okay? <sighs> nice deep breath. Breathe in, we're gonna fold forward. So, if you have back issues, you may not be able to come down or tighten hamstrings. Relax the head and shoulders. You might only be here, that's fine. But I want you sticking your butt out. If you can't touch your feet and your hands stay down, your hamstring stretches, see the flat back? And my hands are on my thighs. That is igniting hamstrings here, okay? So, the hips are still back. I'm not rounding the back like this. I'm pushing the hips back, okay? Take your feet a little bit wider. And try and stretch out here. Am I still in the picture? I think I am. So some of you may be able to have a nice wide stride, elbows down, okay, relaxing the head. Keep the abs on nice and strong. Walk the feet together a little bit and just bend one knee and sit into a side lunge. So we're not massive side stretching, but you should feel this down the inner thigh. Gently other side. This knee that is bending is still behind your front toe. Okay, can you see that? You see it's still behind my front toe? If I... Good. So I'm not super low, I'm just feeling this when my bum joins my leg right down the inner thigh. Work through the stretches. Get a little bit deeper every time. Okay, no ballistic bouncing. Just nice stretching. Mm -hmm. Now 
Now I'm getting deeper. Can you see? I'm getting nice and deep. Breathe. Yeah. Peel toe your feet together. And gently roll up chin to chest. Good. Okay, we're going to do knee pulls, okay? So, from, find your balance, shoulders back, and you're going to pull one knee right in. So, this requires balance. Should you have no balance, you will learn to build your balance. Alternative to this is leaning against a wall. I'm going to go straight up the picture here, I think. Maybe this is a... Yeah, okay. Can you see there? So lean yourself against the wall if you need it, okay? Pull that knee right up high. And you want to keep your back flat against the wall. So the lower back needs to be on the wall. What you don't want is here, because you will hurt your back, okay? Chest up, bum back. For those of you that are still standing in one spot, switch your leg. Pull up. So I am digging my big toe in on the floor, that's my anchor. And uh, I'm standing up tall. Trick to this one, uh, on your foot, you've got three balance points. So under the big toe, the ball of the foot, under the little toe, and under the heel. It's a triangle. So you push all three of those points in, and you should be able to lift and balance and not fall. Well, I was overdoing it there. But that's what you're looking for. So that's your anchor, all right? So balance, abs on, and you see how I'm wobbling? But I'm wobbling between those three four points. So I should be able to hold myself up. Do one more. <sighs> Breathe. We work on balance and stretching. Okay, now we're going into ballet balance. Tap into my posh voice, my yoga voice. Right, so, other hand out for balance. Lift the knee up. Open out, in, and down. Some of you may be able to grab onto your big toe and extend the leg out, and open, and in, and down. Some of you. Do not land on your backside. <laughs> if you can't do that, that is fine. Just lift, open, in, and close. I'm waiting for time. Ooh. Okay. Knee circles. This is old school. This is great. Okay. So I'm going to go side on so you can see. Feet pretty close together. Put your hands on the top of your kneecaps. Stick your bum back. And then you just go in little circles. Knee circles. So my knees are together. Feet are together. See how I'm rolling through my feet. It's great for ankle mobility. Change direction. This strengthens your quads and your glutes as well. Ooh, little circles, nice. Uh, so if ever you need to click your knees or your ankles, this is a good way to do it. You don't really want to be twisting like that. <laughs> right, uh, squats. Take your feet wide. Uh, roll the shoulders back. And sit into a nice squat. And roll up. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is froggy squats. Okay? So you want to try and sit in this to push open the hips. Okay? So you're gonna come down and sit in a froggy squat. Okay? So by froggy squat, your your toes are pointing out, okay? They're about this far apart, about shoulder width apart. And you're gonna sit and keep your chest up. Push your palms together. This is that the Bushman all sit. Okay. So you may not get down here straight away or you might not be able to get your heels down. This is practice, okay? I can feel this in my hips. It's a lovely hip opener. Okay, you shouldn't feel pain. If you're feeling pain, you will come up and sit in a sumo squat. I'll show you that now, okay? Who we got on there? Fiona, yeah, maybe I can, nice. Sumo squat, you're here, okay? You're pushing elbows in and you're pushing into the inner thighs, yeah? See from the side? This is you if you're not in a frog squat. 
Again, I'm going to come down to the frog squat again. Nice deep breaths. Good. Put your hands down, breathe in. And relax the head. And out. Good again. Breathe in. Breathe out as you lift up. Keep your head nice and low. Yeah. Right, come down. We're going to do seated quad stretches. So, there's different ways of doing this. Uh, we'll try the Kenpo quad stretch. Okay, we did it in the one with the bands. So, you're going to bring one foot forward. Uh, which foot does this look like on there? That looks like my left foot on there. Okay, you can reach for the foot. Nah, can't reach it. Get it this side. Okay. Push forward. This one hurts a lot. So you might not be able to get the quad stretch here. If you are unable to grab it, your quad stretch is standing here. Okay? It's stretching the same muscle, your quadriceps. Okay? Some of you may be super duper flexible. I can't get it. Ah, I don't reach it. Uh, and you would be able to twist this way. I can't reach my foot there. So I'm going this way. Ah. You might want to towel under your knee if you're on a hardwood floor. And release. Hamstring, stretch out the front one. If you want to roll off the back knee so you don't hurt it, you may want to sit down and stretch into it here. You may be all the way down on it. Let's switch legs. See what I did there? Beautiful. When you've got it, push into it. So push the hips forward, pull the heels to the bum. That is killing me. I'm crying on the inside like a winner. <laughs> Stretch. I'm going to sit down on this one. That's a nice breathe. Do it again. Come up. So you may just be here, yeah? You may not be able to grab your foot, but you still feel it. I'm actually feeling this in the hip flexor then. That's definitely my quad. Chest up, hips forward, smile through the pain. Mm. Holy handfuls. Hamstring, stretch. Make sure you've got no holes in your pants. Sit up nice and tall. Turn. So for those of you that cannot reach your toes, the Alistair Kirklands and the, well, you can actually, hey? And the David Finlayson's of this world, grab your towel around your foot and pull. If you have a resistance band and you can't reach your toe, take it around and pull. If you do have the joy of flexibility, take your hands either side of your leg, Good, release, other side, turn, breathe in, exhale as you stretch down. So you'll feel different things if you flex your foot or if you point the toes. You're going to feel different muscles working. Good, breathe in, come down the middle. Walk it down. So you wanna walk down to try and get your elbows down. Maybe this is you. You wanna try and get your head down. And release. You feel that stretch right through the back as well. If you've got somebody at home that can help you assist it, they can push you forward. Just don't break anything.
Good, release. Bring the legs together. Flex, point, flex, point. Good toes, good toes, naughty toes. Good toes, naughty toes. That takes me back, as well as ballet. That's nice, calf stretches. Lean forward, stretch through it. Good, release. Let's just do a uh, seated spine stretch. So just take one leg over, all right? And just sit and twist through. Stretch nicely down. Other side, pull the knee right up past the knee. The foot up past the knee. Seated twist, stretch. Feel it right in the back. So those of you with sore backs that have been doing lots of exercise this week already, this is a good stretch for you. Good, bring the soles of the feet together. Scoosh your bum in, lean down, breathe in. Exhale down. So you wanted to try and get your head on your feet. It's not gonna happen unless you're like, Seven. Come up. Take the hands under the, the ankles, push the elbows into the inner thigh and just rock through it. If it hurts your hips, don't rock, just push. So keep the abs pulled in and you're trying to flick the ankles up to your face. Clearly that's not where it's gonna go. Just stretch through it. And release. You're gonna lie down nice and long. Oh, extend the arms over the head. So squeeze everything. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Point the toes. Pull the quads, the glutes, the bum, the head, the head, the shoulders, the head. And release. You can bring your hands down here if it hurts your shoulders. Squeeze everything on. And release. And one last one. So you're squeezing everything. Try not wrinkle your face too much because it does cause wrinkles. Just squeeze everything as hard as you can and hold it for three seconds and then release. And then we'll do some breathing. Ready? One, two, squeeze. Two, three. And release. Good. So that's all. Breathe in, exhale down. Inhale up, basket your head. Inhale, exhale, rotate around, sit up tall. Other side. So you are spider fingers at the back, stacking the shoulders, sit up tall. Good. Break the knees here. Breathe in. Exhale and round the back. Chin to chest. Tilt the pelvis. Inhale up. Open up. Exhale forward. Stretch. Good. And bring the knees together. Breathe in. Exhale round. Inhale up, exhale forward. And just relax here, shake the legs out. Stretch across. And other side. Should feel nice and relaxed now. Good. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale. Well done. So if there's any, any specialized parts you want to be stretched, so some people want legs, some people want backs, uh, hips, send me messages and I'll put together a stretching workout for Wednesday next week. 
something new that we haven't done. Um, so you tell me. I want feedback from you. I want you guys taking photos of the classes that you're doing, uh, online classes, so I can put them up for Leisure Centre so they can see everybody working hard. Let me know if you don't want me to put them up and you just wanted to send them to me so I can see. Um, but keep training, keep working out, keep a smile on your face, and let's get fit together. Okay, so that's our Wednesday classes done, and we'll see you back in here live for Friday's classes. Take care of you. Bye.